And now to the latest on the COVID-19 pandemic. The CDC advisory panel has now greenlit Pfizer booster shots for children ages 5 to 11. This new approval paves the way for parents to get their children boosted as early as tomorrow morning. Earlier this week, the Food and Drug Administration authorized the use of booster shots among younger children to be used at least five months after completing their first round of shots. Children over the age of five became eligible for vaccination against COVID-19 in November. So the first kids who were in the front of the line for those shots have now had about six months of protection. Today, just 43% of eligible children ages 5 to 17 years old have been fully vaccinated, according to federal data. Meanwhile, the CDC is also forecasting a grim future for COVID-19 cases in America, with deaths and hospitalizations expected to increase in the next few weeks. CNN's Cole Higgins has the latest. COVID-19 deaths are expected to rise over the next four weeks. A CDC forecast predicting more than 11,000 new deaths and a surge in hospitalizations for a fourth consecutive week. There's a lot of infections across America. What's driving that? Uh, what is primarily driving that is uh, these incredibly contagious subvariants. They are more contagious with more immune escape and they are driving uh, a lot of the increases in infection that we're seeing across the nation right now. And, and that, is, that is a huge challenge. With a rise in infections in parts of the nation, the CDC is urging places with high COVID-19 community levels to encourage masking up in public indoor settings. We encourage everyone to use the menu of tools we have today to prevent further infection and severe disease, including wearing a mask, getting tested, accessing treatments early if infected, and getting vaccinated or boosted, especially if you're over 50 and if your last dose was more than five months ago. Now, the White House is in conversations with the FDA about a fourth vaccine dose for people under 50. With regard to a fourth dose for those under the age of 50, that is going to require action from the FDA, and we're in conversations there as well. I'm Cole Higgins reporting.